Yes, sir. Hi, welcome everyone to our January concert here at the Trailside Event Center in Peoria Heights. I'm Ellen Monteith, a board member at the Central Illinois Jazz Society. First, let me thank our concert sponsors, Lloyd and Bonnie Hedges and Diane Scoma. Yeah. Without our, their support, we would not be having this event. We want to ask you to consider a donation to help cover expenses for this concert and these musicians. Please use that donate button there because we're not charging you a ticket price. So think about keeping jazz alive in central Illinois. We're a nonprofit organization with an all volunteer board and no paid staff. So we do need your help financially. Please like our page and keep checking in here and on our website, cijs.org, where you will see announcements about future live stream concerts and eventually back to being live for you. So thank you for joining us again. And let me turn this back over to John Miller and the remaining acts. All right, thanks, Alan. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
nice to be here with everyone who isn't here, but all you folks that are out there watching, thank you very much for doing this and joining us. We'll do our best to have some fun today. We'll mentally, we'll try to prepare ourselves as if you were all sitting here, maybe throwing things at us or something like that. Anyhow, we'll continue on here and we'll talk a little more later, huh?
Thank you. That one was called New Eyes. That was written uh, by Django Reinhardt. And that was like an unofficial French resistance anthem during World War II. The French kind of adopted it as their underground anthem. And it's a beautiful composition. Django had wrote some beautiful things. All right, we'll continue on here. Here's a more modern tune called For Sephora.
Here's a little arrangement we stole from a wonderful group from Detroit. If you ever see any of their music out there, please listen to them. They're very inspiring. They're called the Hot Club of Detroit. We have a Peoria guitarist uh, who's a friend of ours who has a little association with those guys, too. He knows them personally, and they're, they're good guys, and they're wonderful players. Anyhow, we, we just love this tune, so we love to play it. Uh, this is an old one called My Sweet Little Coquette.
While we're getting this, I'd like to personally thank uh, our friends Lloyd and Bonnie and Diane for sponsoring this. They're great folks, and thanks a lot, you guys. If you're watching, really appreciate it. We appreciate everything for the Central Illinois Jazz Society. It's a good organization. Please help us keep it going. And we're kind of honored to be uh, the guys that are trying this live stream today, so cut us a little slack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, this is the first shot that the sound men and uh, uh, video, they're, they're really doing a great job, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Because it was, it was really looking good and sounding good during rehearsal, so um, please enjoy it. All right, here's a, another Django Reinhardt tune uh, that he did later on in his career. This, this had a little more modern jazz feel to it. This one's called Dinette. It was actually a take on Dinah.
All right, a little bit of a story here. Quick little story. This is uh, a waltz. We'll call it a waltz. They used to call it a musette, and they still do in the gypsy world. Musettes is what they used to call accordions, and uh, during the first part of the 20th century in France, they were dancing a lot of waltzes, and the accordions were the band leaders, and when Django Reinhardt was a real young fella, he got himself a job playing banjo with a musette band with the accordion, and they played waltzes all night. So he hated waltzes. And he only wrote one, and this is it. And it's pretty good, I hope. All right, we're having a contest here. I don't know how you can write in and let us know by the end of the song, but this is the contest you're missing today by not having a live audience. We usually, uh, whoever can guess who did this song and what year, we fill their car with popcorn as a prize. But I guess... Uh, we might make a house call. You know. We might make a house call. <laughs> you don't know. Let me introduce these guys. Uh, over here, we have the one, the only, Larry Harms on clarinet. Uh, professor of music at uh, Illinois Central College, and he, uh, he uh, is the leader of the Jazz Train Band, and uh, plays with various groups around, and he also <clears throat> leads the uh, Central Illinois Jazz Society House Band. And uh, Larry and I have been pretty darn good friends ever since he moved up here from uh, Tennessee, oh, what was that, 30 years ago? That's exactly right. Boy, I hit like, a lucky guess for an old guy. Uh, behind me is the one, the only Andy Crawford, who's very much in demand by everyone. And he is at Knox College, 
and he is the uh, guy that organizes the Rutabaga Jazz Festival, and that is a big job. It's a year-long job, and he also gives tons of instructions, and he plays with a long list of great players in central Illinois. He plays with Daryl, he plays with Todd, he plays with Holy Smoke, and uh, Andy and I have a real good friendship, and we've had it for quite a while. And He did me a big favor when I uh, retired from my day job, and, and it all worked out good for both of us, didn't it? Sure did. It sure did. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> for what's left of this brain. Do you hear anything rattling when I shake my head? <laughs> Not much. Not much. That's, that's the sad part of this. Not much is rattling. <laughs> Nothing's rattling. Nothing in there to get loose is what you're saying. <laughs> and over here to my right, that would be your left. Stage left, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is the one, the only Joe Park, <laughs> who started off as a student of mine, and he, I still remember, you were 27 yes. when you Long took time. your first lesson. It was right before you turned 28, and... Uh, we hit it off and we had a lot of fun and then we got interested in uh, playing this uh, gypsy music and uh, by that time Joe was really working hard on it. He had gotten quite good and we just put this band together and it's existed in some form ever since. And uh, he has the Hot Club of St. Louis in St. Louis which is a wonderful gypsy band. He also plays with two or three other gypsy bands and then he has the Joe Park Trio and what else you got going? Oh, That's it. And he's, he's, uh, he's making CDs right and left constantly. So uh, I'm always glad to have my dear buddy Joe here. So uh, I'm real honored to have guys of this caliber playing with me too. So we'll continue here. We'll do this one from, all right, I might as well tell you. No, you can guess while we're playing it and then. Write in your comments, yeah. Write them in, okay. I'll tell you what it is, though. It's <laughs> Mr. Sandman. <laughs> Good, now we know what we're doing. No. <laughs> Maybe. One, two, three, four.
We'll give you a few minutes to take a guess on that, and then we'll spill the beans, you might say. So, uh, <laughs> all right, here's another. Uh, this was probably about 1950, I think, when Django did this, wasn't it, Joe? Yeah, this is a later one, isn't it? It's a later tune, yeah. Yeah. All righty, here we go. This one's called, oh, this is an old Illinois tune, isn't it? It's called Belleville. I will go from that to this, which was uh, actually Django's first big hit. So, fancy that, huh? We'll come back and give you the answer to the quiz pretty soon. <laughs> but I want to let it I wanna simmer. simmer for a while. Thank you for the proper term. You can always count on Larry for the proper term. All right, this is called Djangology. Is that like geology? <laughs> or you can't major in Jangology. <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. You can major in Jangology. <laughs> Romaine has a has a uh, gives you a degree in that in France, up in Belgium. Yeah. All righty. Here we go.
Is it me or did that really feel good? That felt good. That felt <laughs> great. That tune, that, I like the groove we had on that, if I say so myself. All right, now we're going to feature the artistry of the one, the only, Fulvio, better known as Joe Park. But to us, he's known as Fulvio. That's an inside joke. It's not really a joke. Or is it? It's no joke. I'm the fool. It's no joke. He is the fool. <laughs> All right. Um, tell the folks what this sounds like to you. <clears throat> oh, this song is called Tears. This is a song that's a traditional uh, gypsy uh, song that uh, Django Reinhardt had arranged. And it's a, it's, it's a real haunting tune, and it sounds like a haunted house or something, man. It sounds like Halloween. It gives Joe nightmares. I know it does. <laughs> so here we go. This it is a haunting type melody, and it's a really neat one. So have at it, pal. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
I give you a little on that. <laughs> that was nice. All right, little swing jeton here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Before we uh, uh, do the next tune, I'll, I'll give you the results of the contest, huh? The results are in. <laughs> oh, the results are in. I got them. Mr. Sandman was done in 1954 by the Cordettes, who are better known as a, a girls' barbershop quartet. They were pretty good, too. My mom and dad had their album. It's old 78 album. It was kind of cool. I wonder if I still got that. <laughs> I'm going to look for that. All right. Here's another great composition of Django's. Uh, this is Melody Al Crepuscule. And a crepuscule is a twilight melody. So this is kind of a nostalgic kind of tune. It's happy, you know, Twilight's a happy and nostalgic at the same time. So see if you can feel the, the beauty, but still the light tint of sadness in this.
Okay. Bill, Bill you want to set this mic up? Can't play and can't play and sing at the same time. This is Bill Duncan, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Duncan, yes. Let's have a round for Bill. Doing the sound and the video today. Chris Harvey on the video. And Chris. Chris is doing the video. Okay. Well, I didn't know who was doing what. I don't know that in the band either. Um, anyhow, these have been tough times recently for all of us. And I'm sure you're all feeling that. Uh, so we'd like to leave you with this kind of message and thanks for being here today. But we want to leave this, this is very personal from us to you. Uh, we need to keep our chins up and keep a smile on our face. And if you act happy, you may just get happy. So this is just, uh, let's stick with it. We'll, get, we'll all get through this, hopefully. And uh, till the next time, once again, thank you very much for being here. And uh, we'll close out with one more after this. But this is our little message to you, okay? Smile though your heart is aching Smile even though it's breaking When there are clouds in the sky You'll get by If you smile through your fear and sorrow And maybe tomorrow You'll see the sun come shining through for you. Light up your face with gladness and hide every trace of sadness. Although a tear may be ever so near, time you must keep on trying. Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile if you'll just smile. Light up your face with gladness, hide every trace of sadness, and although a tear may be ever so near, that's the time that you must keep on trying. Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just smile. Smile. Smile.
Thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for having us tonight. All right, let's give them a little.